Hi, and welcome back to another installment of Stories Behind the Dooney. Yes, you heard correctly. I will be sharing my stories about the variety of Doonies that I've acquired over the last few years, really since the start of my very first Dooney back in 94, 1994 that is. Um, and I've acquired uh, just a few, not many at all, not many at all. Um, shout out to Dooney Addict. She inspired me some years ago with really just paying a little bit more attention to my bags. And, um, I admire her collection so much. She needs to have an actual Dooney, um, museum of sorts because she has a lot of bags. I know I would never be able to get the, uh, that number of bags, but the ones that I do have are near and dear to my heart. And so I wanted to share my stories because I can be an impulsive buyer, but at the same time, it's it's going to hold some type of reasoning and story behind uh, my purchase. And so let's get going to the next bag that I acquired. This would be my fourth Dooney. I purchased this bag in the fall of 2006. I was embarking on my second year of grad school. I previously purchased one in the fall of 2005. And so now it's just like, yeah, I'm tired of carrying this bag along with the others that weren't Dooney. So I wanted to get another. I thought it would be fun. Uh, and so I went back to Macy's had been looking um, and they were still doing this whole anniversary signature uh, look or print or what have you. And so I was just like, you know, I don't have a black bag. I need a black bag, but I didn't want to like the black, black. And I don't really think they had black, black per se out, but they would always have like the black trim and um, maybe some other type of color. So with that being said, the next purchase that I made was this lovely signature um, sack. I had to recall, what is this bag? It's a sack. Um, and it was my first sack because everything else pretty much, for the most part, uh, my first two were crossbodies. Then my third one was a tote. And so I decided to get something that looks a little bit more like, okay, I'm on my grown woman stuff. And so I purchased this bag because I thought it was just kind of unique for the time. Um, it wasn't really just black, black, but it was gray and uh, black. And so I liked it a lot. I also liked the fact that it locked because at this point we're dealing with this particular um part of bags um, by Dooney at this time and so it had a lock and I really want to say with this bag I was struggling with the lock most of the time I would forget e to even lock it up because I had so much stuff in my bag it would fill all the way up to the top and the way that this was supposed to go let me show you you actually fold kind of fold in the flap and then you cover that up or what have you then you close it if I had some stuff in here it would flow a lot better but yeah that's how that went yeah so that's the way that it closed and but I rarely even closed it my bag would never ever look like this it was always full of something um, so I went from having this tote to having this bag as my daily bag and I absolutely love this bag check out the strap the strap was wider than my first crossbody it wasn't as wide as my messenger bag but I love this strap um, with the fact that this was more of a sack style um, you can see how this looks and with the trim the leather trim and then the bottom of course it doesn't have any feet to it but it had these little grooves or what have you not grooves but just a little style of leather that will showcase the very um edges of the bag now these edges i just looked at 
closely because to be honest with you in doing these videos i am really ex really examining my bags um i love this bag so so you can see the wear and tear of the corners here and then i noticed that um it's not separating anything but that leather is leather is clearly worn and it's because hey once more i'm on have the purse on my shoulder i'm moving i'm moving it might hit a brick wall scratch up what have you um but this was a definitely definite or definitely um a very used purse here because i had to look at it closer it's just that little trim of the leather and so that peels or just came down mind you the stitch work nothing is separating as far as the the material and that leather trim uh so yeah there was nothing other you know special no outside pocket or zipper on this bag it was just and it was really kind of plain but at the time it was a nice looking bag so let's go on the inside you don't have much to even really talk about on the inside it's kind of dirty at the bottom but of course you have this key reminder as i like to call it and then you have the zipper mind you this is an authentic bag purchased out of macy's and so you do have the tag and you do have the number so you do have that uh so yeah the zipper like i said i had a motorola flip phone silver silver and navy fit perfectly in this little pad this little pouch and when i tell you it's little this thing was not supposed to hold too much more than it maybe a stick of gum or what have you but it did have that yeah so this bag just really didn't have too much of a a story per se with it other than this was like my last year of grad school i wanted to jazz up having a bag having another bag that i could add to my collection um that i could just you know rock with my backpack my nike backpack um that i still have that's actually sitting behind me right now i'm not going to show you because this is showcasing doonies only <laughs> um but i would have this or even if i was just carrying my books in my hand i had everything in this bag ready for school ready to learn um i also had like this pouch this pen pouch pencil so yeah I, I really love this bag um occasionally i might pull it out um but as i stated before too this is before time of the dust bag when i pulled this out of where i had it it had dust on the back and i was like oh this is just so abusive i love my bags i really truly do and so, as I stated in the previous video with this bag, with the tote, because of the tote or the dust bag that I have being so large, I'm just going to dump multiples in it. Um, there's not going to just be one person. There's room for plenty to be in there. And so, yeah, I'm excited about that. So, yeah, I'm excited about just putting these back up. And please, if you know someone or maybe there's a YouTube video. I actually don't want to clean these myself. I want somebody else to really put in the work um, of cleaning my bags and getting them reconditioned back into as close of a pristine shape as possible. I know with the cloth, it shouldn't be that difficult, but definitely with some other bags that I have, that's a goal of mine to really just do that and put them in a bag, a dust bag to preserve the life of them. Uh, but this is my story behind the Dooney. Thank you for um, viewing. Please like my page, SS Harper, as well as um, share. Yeah, share, like, subscribe to the page, like the video and uh share with people because i know there are other people out there that love doonies and they got a story to tell i want to hear it all right check me out for the next video